How do I do marketing competitor research? That's a really good question because a good marketing competitor research will basically influence everything you're doing in your business. And there's three areas to look at. The market, the competitors and your target audience. Looking at the market, you will discover trends, look at case studies, data, statistics, and all that kind of stuff. And then you can come up with something that your target audience really wants, something that the market really demands. I created a document for you that you can download using this link that will help you a bit further with marketing competitor research. Once you're looking at competitors, make sure you look at direct competitors and indirect competitors, meaning direct competitors are people who are doing exactly the same that you do, Indirect competitors are basically an alternative to what you're doing. An easy way to do that and not to write paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs about it is to create a competitor grid. So basically you have an Excel sheet in which you have columns with titles, which are the competitors' names, and then you have rows, which are certain criteria that you're looking at. For example, you put first the URL so you can find them easier, so the web address. You might want to look at the products and service that they offer. Um, one row might be the pricing, one row might be the location, um, one row is their USP unique selling point, one row is their marketing activities, all kind of things that are relevant to you and what you're doing and the industry that you're in. And then you have it all on one nice page in one grid and you put like the fields for the competitor and the row, you just fill with bullet points rather than writing a lot of paragraphs that will really help you um, to analyze afterwards how you can stand out. And it makes it also much easier for everyone who needs to read it. And last but not least, you need to look at your target audience. Look at the demographics, that, um, where do they live, um, how do they live, are they married, are they singles, do they have children, how much do they earn. But not only this, look at their fears and their dreams, what are their aspirations in life. All of this will help you afterwards to create content that they really want and that they value, to create um, products and services that they really would buy. It also helps you to price your products and services later on. And rather than just doing online search on Google or any other search engine, um, you should do your own research by creating surveys using something like SurveyMonkey or get target groups and focus groups that uh, represent your target group and ask them questions. If you have a question that you want me to answer in a video, please send me an email hello at creativestartupacademy.com. And don't forget to join our Creative Startup Academy community where you get more frequently asked question videos like this. You get exclusive discount to all my online courses. You get free resources that you can download, links to my free webinars. You get book recommendations. You can connect with other entrepreneurs on there asking questions and get the support from entrepreneurs around the world. You might be able to find your next business partner there and on top of that you get inspiration for entrepreneurs. So don't wait any longer, join the Creative Startup Academy community. I'll see you there.